Well, what you see here is our new basement TV. We've been looking to get one of these to watch Hulu on and to use for video games and for exercising in the basement. And we love our old Samsung TV from 2012 so much, we went ahead and got another one on Black Friday. We ordered this from Costco, right? Which has a lifetime return policy and it was cheaper than Best Buy. Oh, it's not lifetime no more? Oh, that sucks. How much was this? Like 160? I don't know. It's a 40 inch. I believe the one we have upstairs is a 46. It is the 5 Series N5200. And yes, it's China Pride, but we really couldn't. The thing is, too, if you look, that's actually my old bedroom TV. And we're going to hook up the SNES and the Atari 2600 and the Intellivision up to that. And then the Wii and if we get a PlayStation 2 or something, we can hook it up to this, too. So my dad is currently on BOXing it. We were between this or LG, and we'd had good experiences with Samsung before, as you know. Uh, we've had two Samsung TVs, a CRT and then our current LCD, that have exceeded expectations and had zero problems. What is that? Weird. We, yeah, we had an old Samsung CRT that was 20 years old when we had it, I think. It was from the 90s, so it was probably 10 years old. And then we gave it to a friend in, like, 2012. And then, according to my dad, it's still going. Do not touch the screen when you're unloading. I don't touch the see screen. They, they're showing you? You don't touch the screen. But, see, on a CRT... Do, 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 do. Okay. So, yeah, it was between this or an LG... I don't normally like LG. Um, I like Samsung a. more, at least with you stuff. This is A. So we went with the Samsung. There was also Vizio and Hisense, but they seem like lower quality brands. The Samsung and LG seem like the best electronic brands, Samsung in particular. They both need to get out of appliances, though. They make much better stuff like this. And that was another thing. Our old this TV is... had... A, a base sort of in the middle, like a rectangular base. I didn't want one that had the two little legs on the side because they never work, but they didn't have any except one Samsung that was like a 35 inch and it didn't have good reviews. Okay, so the trick is, is it right and left when you're looking at it? It's gotta be. Do we still have the box for the other Samsung TV? I wonder if it's in here. No, I threw it away when we moved. You threw it away? Of course. Well, we're keeping that one. Why would you throw it away? You keep all boxes. Well, okay. it was a Samsung Smart TV. I think it's a 46 inch. I'm pissed at you. Do you want me to blur your face here? I'll blur your face. It is, yeah, 40 inch and we're unboxing it. You have to lay it flat, don't you? It says you don't lay it flat. Oh. This actually looks bigger than the old one. What? Oh my god, it's thin as shit. That's a 27-inch CRT. I have a new TV for my room, um, and so that's going to go in there. And I have a DVD player and a VHS player to put in there, too. So is that the Sam Is that the remote? Is it one of those new Sam... Oh, that's ugly. Ugly fucking TV remote. I love TVs. Because they, the they make me happy. So I will come back once we actually take it out of the box. So we haven't even taken the damn thing out of the fucking box, and we might already have an issue. What are we missing? The screws to mount the feet. This is why you do the old style stand. Well, can you? That you're not torquing the TV. There you go. Is the box clean? It was delivered by FedEx earlier Excuse today. Excuse me. Oh shit! Don't set it against a picture. Don't break my picture. Oh look, it's eight dollars a year if you run it twenty four seven three sixty five. No screws. Sam's. I think they're in here. All those brands don't exist. That's a Toshiba. Toshiba. Toshiba made horrible laptops, but decent TVs. I. I wish that was a Magnavox. Um, here they are. I saw another one on Marketplace, but we were already out on the way to get that one. They had a TV and they had the converter they box that I got. Am I going to need that converter box for the new TV? No. I'm not? Okay. Okay. And it's not new, it's used. So. Haven't picked one out yet, but it's probably going to be... Well, you'll see in the video. So it's actually not 
as big as I was thinking. It's actually relatively small. The box is much bigger than the TV. I mean, look at the size difference. The fucking box is deceiving. Is this, I don't know if this is 60 frames per second, but in reality, that is some stupid ass shit. Aww. Hey, but guess what? It is not 4K. You know why? Because 4K is bullshit. We can't see it, no point. I record my videos at 1080p. That is not the highest this camera can go. This camera can record at 60 frames per second. Is the video better? In my opinion, no, it looks the same. And it eats up disk space like it's water. I can get, on this 16 gigabyte SD card that I always use, about two hours of video on the HD, I can get about 45 minutes at 60 frames per second. You can also do 720p on this camera, which we're putting the thought on the TV. And there it is. Oh, he just plugged it in. Where's the on button? So where's the remote? I'm getting there. It's over here. I've been organizing my fan shit area. I made a spares bin. Look at that. Spare shit. And then I made a spare blade pile. And then that I still need to test. And then this is still glass. Need a shelf for glass. Eventually, I'm going to have like five more of those, and then 95% of this floor is going to be clean minus those portables, but all this stuff will be away. You should love this. Why? High-end batteries. What are they? Bexel. I have never heard of a Bexel. I'm sure they're owned by Samsung. I'm sure they're made by some third-party manufacturer, too. Hey. You know what's funny? The manufacturer who made my ceiling fan is called Hong Dong China Electric Co. Hong Dong? Yeah, Hong Kong, or Hong Dong. You don't put the spring towards the positive end. I didn't. Yeah, you did. Look on no, that side. negative, Isaac. Negative. <sighs> okay. Just making sure you know how to use batteries. I think I can figure okay, it out. Okay, okay. Wait, before I... Let me, get, let me go behind here. Let me go behind where the, the BOXs are. All right. Take a shot. Did you hit it? What the hell? Whoa. Uh, Try it again. Oh, fuck. Is that a screensaver? <laughs> no? Uh. What's this Chinese shit? I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to look like yeah, that. Yeah, um. I would imagine not. I like that it's playing this, like, 90s porn music or something. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm not buying another Samsung, I'll tell you that. I'm buying an LG. Well, it got damaged in shipping. Fucking complain to FedEx. Great. Should I get my phone and take a picture of this? No, that's too bad. Great. Well, we have that one in the meantime. Well, we're gonna take it back. Where? Alright, so this is part one of the TV saga. So Samsung officially sucks now. So to Sam's, I don't think it's Samsung's fault. I think it's FedEx's fault. So, um, yeah. Guess that's sucks. it for part one. Thanks for watching. Right. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see. Subscribe for more fails and follow me on the web. Wix.com slash the elevator world slash fans. All right. Bye-bye.